Why is equipment security important? Northside ISD provides continuous access to critical information systems to over 100,000 staff and students each day. These systems contain confidential information that must be protected from unauthorized access at all times. In this video, we will discuss some equipment security best practices to ensure our information remains safe. Systems such as employee self-service, Munis, and email contain confidential information. For staff, this information includes things like your payroll information and social security number. If somebody gains access to your employee self-service account, they can wreak havoc on your life by viewing or changing your personal, contact, and payroll information. Keeping this information safe is the job of all users of the Northside Network. Your e-number and network password permits access to these systems. Additionally, many staff members have access to student information by using their login credentials. Systems such as Teacher Access Center, CMS, and eSchool Plus contain confidential student information like grades, discipline, social security number, and contact information. Safeguarding confidential information starts with keeping your network login private. Never share passwords with another person and never log into a system and allow someone else to use your device. The risk of unauthorized access to confidential information is increased when either of these actions occur. When you are logged into a system containing confidential information and step away without securing the device, you have created an opportunity for unauthorized access. The best action you can take to protect our information is to secure your device when not in use. If you step away from your computer, lock it by pressing the Windows logo and L keys simultaneously. Once you re-enter your network password, you will be able to continue working where you left off. Your iPad can be locked by closing the cover or pressing the sleep-wake on off button. If using a personal device, be sure to log off of the system when you have finished. Northside mobile devices require passcodes or computer credentials to unlock them. This is the best practice that is recommended for all mobile devices, even your personal device. The goal is to make it as difficult as possible for an unauthorized user to gain access to a device as well as the information stored on it. To keep your device secure while off campus, make sure to take it with you rather than leaving it in a vehicle. USB drives are an easy to use tool for transferring data, however, there are security risks associated with their use. USB drives are allowed, but be aware of unknown drives found laying around. If a USB drive, also known as a flash, thumb, jump, or external drive is found, do not plug it into a computer without getting it checked out by tech services. Notify your campus technology support specialist or contact the help desk. NISD Technology Services can collect the drive, scan it, and make sure it does not contain a virus or other file that can harm the NISD network. Technology equipment is checked out to staff so they can work in a variety of settings. Unfortunately, with being mobile there is a risk of loss or theft of a district device. If this happens, the employee should notify their supervisor and NISD police within 24 hours or the next working day. If the loss or theft occurred off NISD property, a police report from the local police department is also required. Technology Services has the ability to remotely lock or track missing devices, so notify the help desk immediately. This is another way to prevent unauthorized access to information that may be accessible on your device. To start the replacement process, complete the burglary theft report found on employee connection and pony it to the business office. If you need assistance with the process, contact your campus TSS or the help desk. While using your device on the NISD network is generally considered risk-free, safely accessing sensitive information over other Wi-Fi systems is a bit more risky. Free Wi-Fi networks available to the public should never be considered private. By allowing your device to connect to any open network, there is a chance that you may connect to a malicious network, posing as a legitimate one, allowing direct access to your device. Hackers have the ability to listen in and capture sensitive information on open or malicious networks. 
Therefore, public networks should not be used to access confidential information, and you should always double-check the name of a network before connecting to it. This is a best practice not only for your district-owned device, but for personal ones as well. Also, before accessing a Northside system from home, ensure that your wireless home network is password protected. Remember, every device with sensitive information is a potential security risk. You have been entrusted with sensitive information and it is your responsibility to keep that information as secure as possible. Keep your mobile devices in a secure location and locked with a password. Minimize your usage of USB drives with sensitive information and be suspicious of USB drives found laying around. If a device is lost or stolen, prompt reporting is essential to protecting data and attempting to retrieve the device. Public Wi-Fi networks are not private. Avoid accessing trusted sites with sensitive information on a public Wi-Fi. Many of these things can be a slight annoyance as far as convenience goes, but the time and financial cost of a data breach for the district far outweigh the annoyance of a few extra steps. Together, we can ensure the safety and security of our students and our own digital information.